Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. It is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com, and today is Sunday, July the 5th. Happy Independence Day if you were in the United States. And I understand that there was a, there was a holiday in Canada too. Hmm, sorry, I missed it. I'm, I was gonna try and remember what it was. Anyway, I forgot. But my name is Kelly. I'm with ifyouhaveanegg.com, and today is Sunday, July the 5th. The day after Independence Day. I don't know how many of you had wild and crazy fireworks in your neighborhoods last night, but hopefully everybody still has all of their fingers today. Um, but we celebrated Independence Day here yesterday in the United States, and I think everybody was tired of being cooped up because it was, yeah, everybody was out last night. And I guess it's because it's the first time it's been on a Saturday in a while. But anyway, hello Rosie. Um, I am Kelly and I would like to welcome you. If you are brand new with us, please give us a shout out because we would love to say hi and hello to you. Hello, Barbara and hello, my Christy. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, Shante. So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody had a great holiday. I hope everybody got to have a long weekend and that you are all safe. Oh, it is my Christy's husband's birthday, Keith, right? Yeah, right. His name's Keith, right? Anyway, happy birthday to my Christie's husband. I hope you have a wonderful day. So day after Independence Day, nobody's going to forget your birthday. That is awesome. Um, if you are, uh, hello, Sarah from Dingmas Ferry. Hello, Kathy from Ohio. So if you are here with us tonight, if you are here with us live, please say hi and hello. If you are watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. If you don't want to say hi and hello, Grab that scroll bar and go over to about 10 minutes. That's when it kind of dies down. Hello, Deborah from Maryland. Hello, Lacey. Hello, Mary. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Carol Lou. Oh, and Carol Lou's on vacation now. Oh, that's right. Carol Lou was going to the beach. And hello, Mary Ann from very hot Pennsylvania. Yeah, it is hot here too. I knew it, my Christy. Yeah, I knew it was Keith. Hello, Jennifer from Pennsylvania. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Kim. Um, and oh, and hello, John from home base. He made it on tonight. Yep, he got it to work tonight. It was kind of ornery with him last week. Hello, Terry, and hello, Carla. So if you are new with us, please give us a shout out. And again, if you're watching this later on YouTube, and if you don't want to say hi and hello, which is just ridiculous to me why you wouldn't want to say hi and hello, just go ahead and grab that scroll bar and, and move on over because we're not going to stop. Um, but if you're new, let us know. Everyone would love to welcome you. And hello, Barbara, in case, from the crossroads, in case I didn't say it, I read it. And in case I didn't say anything, hello. Hello, Betty. Hello, Sherry from Connecticut. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Roberta from Kansas. Hello, Lisa. Oh, yeah, and Sandra, I actually did them. Um, let's see. Lacey said that I decide on the Apple Watch versus the other ones. Still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Colleen. Hello, Trish from California. Second time seeing you today. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Cheryl. Um, but, yeah, so I did, I did finally do my nails, and they are very patriotic. I can't get them too close, but they are... This one and this one are fireworks. This one's sparkly blue. This one is sparkly red. And that one is more fireworks. Um, hello, Paula. Hello, Marlene. Oh, and birthday week is always beach week for Carol. Happy birthday, Carol. Hello, Pam. Hello, Marlene from Largo, Florida. Hello, Lynn. Okay, and Barbara, I'm sorry. You know, I talk so fast when we get going that sometimes I get lost. And hello, Connie from Missouri. Hello, Tracy. And it was so good to see you, Tracy. So, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So, Tracy was on the Zoom today, this afternoon. I'm sorry. Hello, Janice from Sutton, Ontario. Aloha, Kathy. And Susan went back into the WW studio on Friday, and it was amazing because it felt normal. Okay, and John couldn't take it. He's making nachos. So he, John is actually making nachos from the air fryer um, version two weeks ago. And Tracy, I promise I will circle back around to you, but if you did not watch last week, go back and watch last week on how to make nachos in the air fryer. Um, Linda is here from Hot and Humid Rock Island, Illinois. Thank you, Sandra. And hello, another Sandra from Naperville, Illinois. Hello, Haley. I am good. How are you? Yep, Cheryl needs to get motivated, don't we all? And hello, Sandy from California. Maybe Sandy and Trish can hook up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Trish again. Hello, Nicole from Texas. Hello, Paula from Fort Kent, Maine. So, John, yeah, that's a new place for us to go visit in Maine. Um, and Lacey's talking to Susan. Okay, real quick, Tracy, not gonna lie. So, Tracy, my, you must really, really, really think if you thought I had an accent, what did you think about Gwen? Was that your first time seeing Gwen and Betty? Oh my gosh, this is my super sweaty outside, have to look like I, I don't know, like I'm going somewhere t-shirt. So Tracy, what did you think? What did you think about Gwen? So if you thought I had, a, had an accent, what did you think about Gwen? Hmm? And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell you the total and honest truth. When you started talking, I was like, yeah, she's from New Jersey. So I know. 
you just sound like a Jersey girl, but it is such a cool accent. It is such a cool accent, and I wish I could do it. I would, tr I would try to do it, but I can't. I'm too country, too country. Yeah, so it was good to see. I saw Kathy, Tracy, Jackie, Trish, Myrna, Sandy, and am I missing somebody? Y'all were all on our Zoom on our Zoom today here in Knoxville. I think I, I think I got everybody. Am I missing somebody? Was somebody driving? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anybody. Anyway, so yes, Trish, he is making nachos in the air fryer, and that is from last week. So yeah. So yeah, so another hot and humid day. Hello, MJ. Hello, it's good to see you. And um, and Barbara says, we talk right. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jennifer, it was you. Jennifer, you were you the one driving? So I knew Gwen said somebody was driving, but okay, I couldn't remember. So yep, so I saw Jennifer, um, or saw Jennifer today at the Zoom at the Zoom here in Knoxville. So that was awesome. Hey, yep, Jennifer was the driver. Okay, that is too funny. So Jennifer was my missing person and Lynn forgot about us. Oh well. We had a good time. Um there were several of us there and hello Alicia. So the Zoom that's here in Knoxville. We're going to talk about Knoxville for just a second, girls. So we had um so the Zooms that are here in Knoxville. I, my Tuesday night meeting is not um our Tuesday night meeting is not meeting yet. Nothing in Knoxville is meeting it. So we are not meeting in person in, um, and Trish needs to know where her other California person is from. Um, but we are not meeting here in Knoxville at least through July. We're not having actual in, in workshop workshops. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm going to sidetrack for a second. So my Christy is just from a t one state north of here. It's just one state north. <laughs> And I used to do a bingo game. We would go to scrapbooking weekends and we would not sleep. That's how I met Christy. And um, and I used to do a bingo game that would last for hours and hours and hours and hours. And one of the words on the bingo game was wire, was wire. And they couldn't figure out what I was saying, so we had to spell it for them. Anyway, and Carla, yes, I did notice that you decided not to give up. So good girl. And yes, Myrna is here. I saw Myrna today on the Zoom. And hello, Teresa, also from Kentucky, also from one state north of here. And thank you. These are my Color Street nails from Casey. So if you're brand new, Casey is a Color Street. Um, I always forget what you call that. Anyway, whatever. So I get my nails from Casey. She is my daughter, in case you are new here. <coughs> anyway, so we in Knoxville, circling back around to Knoxville, we are not going to have in-workshop meetings. Um at least through July. So notice I did not say starting in August. So they did not say that we were going to start them again in August. They said that they are, we are not having in workshop meetings at least through July. So I don't know what that means. Don't know what that means about August. Hello, Vicki from St. Louis. Um, and the day of the week that I attend the Zoom meeting, I know, Sandra, because I don't chew them and bite them off. Um, but the day of the week that I attend the Zoom meeting is on Sundays at 2.30. And if you ever want to come to our Zoom meeting, if you are an active WW mem member and you have eTools, you can just go into Connect. And then when you go into Connect, when you search for groups, search for um, search for Knoxville. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. Um, search for Knoxville. And there's only one group in Knoxville. And I go to Gwen's group, Gwen's Zoom group that meets on Sundays at 2.30. That's just while we're doing Zoom. When we go back to our regular, regularly held meetings, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will leave her workshops open that are on Tuesday nights in Powell. I so hope that we do not have to go to the center um, down at Cedar Bluff. I spent enough time in West Knoxville. I have no intention of going to South uh, to West Knoxville on, um, oh, and Roberta, Roberta, I didn't, see, did I see, did you have your picture up or did you just have your, did you just have your name up? So Roberta was at the Zoom meeting today too. Did you have your picture up? Um, and Gwen is so, she is, she is so stinking cute. I mean, do you all see why we love her? <laughs> why we love her? Um, but anyway, so, so we've been going to that one. Um, good news for, um, good news for people in, um, and yes, Lacey, we are Eastern time. So it is 2.30 Eastern time on Sundays, the Zoom meeting in Knoxville, and it'll just say West Knoxville. So, and Roberta didn't have a picture. Okay, Roberta, that's probably why I didn't notice, that's why, probably why I didn't notice you there. So sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry, you'll have to say something. You'll have to shout out to me um, so that I'll know that, it, that it's you when you're there on the Zoom meetings. And um, and Susan says, oh, I'm coming to Knoxville with Gwen. Yeah, y'all need to. You need to come to Knoxville with Gwen. 
Um, but anyway, so good news for Knoxville girls. I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but if you are a lifetime member, your your membership has been extended, has been automatically extended through August. So I don't know if that's everywhere since we are a franchise, since we're a franchised group, but for Knoxville anyway, we are our um, everything is extended through August since we since we can't really, you know, since we can't have meetings right now. They do have extra weigh in, so they have wellness checks in Knoxville on Thursdays from 10 to 1 and Saturdays from 9 until 2 if you need to go weigh in. And hello, Joy from Bristol, Virginia. Hello, Evie. Um, and Lacey said it's under Knoxville only. Yes, it is under Knoxville only. It's just Knoxville. It says West Knox. If you look up Knoxville, it is West Knoxville. Hello, Susie. Okay, and Mindy thinks yes, it is to my knowledge. I'm assuming she means for everybody. And um, that we're gonna have that we're gonna have the. Um, I'm sorry that it's extended for um, for lifetime members. That you're that everything's extended. E tools, you know, your use of everything. That's all extended. Okay, but if not. If not, and if you've had to take a break, or if you know somebody that's had to take a break, um, or if you're just waiting for actual, and thank you, Mindy, if you're waiting for actual workshops to get back in, um, I'm hoping that you all are, um, I'm hoping that you all are, and yes, Lacey, we would love to see you. Is Okay, so I'll just, love, let me just sidetrack again, because I'm so good at sidetracking. That has been so cool for me to be able to see you all too, even though we're there to listen to Gwen, so we're not there to, to talk to Kelly. They were there to listen to Gwen, but that has been so cool to see you all in person too, and especially Kathy's cat because her cat is beautiful. And I think Tracy was at you that your your dog kept getting up in your lap, so that was hilarious because I was thinking, oh, that would so be dusty if he if he was over here to get in my lap. But but anyway, um, when oh, Susan, I may come to the San Antonio one mm, on Saturdays at eight. I would have to come at eight because the showrooms open at nine. But and hello, Kathy from Iowa. Um, so. And Betty, no, we are not eating anything tonight besides John's nachos. And John is at home making his nachos. He's at home making his nachos. Um, anyway, so extra wellness checks in Knoxville. Can't wait to get back to the to our actual live workshops. Hoping and praying that they will let Gwen's open back up in Powell on um, on Tuesday nights because I really don't want to go to the Cedar Bluff location. Sorry, sorry. Um, but I am enjoying the Zoom. So I'm hoping that they also keep the Zooms going. If you attend a work, if you attend a Zoom workshop, please, please, please do the survey at the end so that they know. Don't just assume this is like voting. You know, this is like voting, um, you know, in the your local or um, presidential election. Don't just assume that somebody else is going to vote the way that you want things to go, okay? So please do the surveys at the end. Um, these women and a few men, there are some men that are, you know, they're doing these workshops too. Um, our main guy is actually a guy. Our main guy is actually a guy. Um, but it's important to them. They need the feedback. They need to know how they're doing. They need you in order to keep their workshops going, whether they're Zoom or live. So please do the surveys at the end. Okay, that is my speech for this week. Okay, so this week is Sunday, July the 5th. And yeah, and this Tracy's dog's Nico. He's so cute. So cute. Um, but um, this week is June, July 5th, and yesterday was Independence Day, and we did not make any Independence Day food last week. We are not making any day after. Thank you, Susan, for doing the surveys. Um, we are having some, um, oh, well, thank you, Sherry. We are having some, I'm gonna show you some food. I had my first trip back to Aldi this week after I don't know. I haven't been to Aldi since all this COVID stuff started. So anyway, we'll talk about Aldi in a few minutes. The first question is, first of all, if there's anybody new, don't just sit there. Don't just quietly sit there because I see all my regulars are chit-chatting. Don't just quietly sit there. If you are brand new with us, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. We love it when new people are here. If you are new, um, when I mention Casey's name a hundred times, that is my daughter. When you hear me and she helps with all of our videos, she does all of the YouTube videos, um, which will be posted on YouTube Get it? YouTube videos will be posted on YouTube later. She does all of our Bravo stickers. Um, she does a lot of our design work. And then you will hear me talk about Jessica a lot. And Jessica does our website. And she is the one that makes everything, she makes everything happen, you know, in the background. Um, and when you hear me mention Alyssa, Alyssa is my granddaughter. And John, who is watching from home, is my husband. So he's not just some stranger that I'm, you know, talking to from home. Um, okay, so that's for the new people. Please let us know that you're new. Please share this. Please know that you can go back later and watch it here. Watch this here on Facebook. You can watch, and yes, Chrissy, you all do talk and distract me. 
Um, you can watch this on Facebook later. This because this as soon as we get done, I will post it, and you can watch it on Facebook later, and you can watch it on um, YouTube later. Um, it'll be in a couple of days. Casey and Jessica will have that. Um, they will have that posted in a couple of days on on YouTube. And let's see. Shantae says one of the leaders from the Zoom meeting that I attended in New York on Friday mentioned that they will be doing. Uh oh, and I can't read the rest of it. Mm, so we'll have to go back and watch that. Okay. Oh, and it's Tanya's first time watching. So everyone welcome Tanya. It's T-A-N-Y-A. So it is Tanya's first time and it is Rosa's first time, R-O-S-A. So everybody welcome Tanya and Rosa. Um, they are new with us tonight and we are so very happy that you are here with us. Um, again, if you want to go back and watch the old ones um, or if you want to join our closed group, our closed group um, is it's just if you have an egg, um, a Weight Watchers support group. And um, somebody, maybe somebody will post the link. And if not, I will post it later. I'll post it when we get done. If you go to join our closed group, please, please, please answer the three questions. They're three easy questions, but please answer them. I have to know that you are a real person before I let you in. So I will not let you in if you don't answer the questions. Hello, Irma. And they're not hard questions. They're not hard. They're easy to answer. So the ladies in our group are all very nice and supportive. And if they're not nice and supportive, <laughs> They get axed, so don't worry about that. So don't worry about this. That's not one, this is not one of those groups where you get beat up. Um, it's not one of the you know one of the ones where you go screaming you know from the room and think what was I thinking? So um, but it's a great group of ladies. Okay, so the first thing we do, new people, the first thing we do is we say we just we find out who attended a Zoom workshop last week. So you do not have to be an active WW member um, to attend with us here. It's perfectly fine. You can come anytime, anytime. This is all for free. Um, this is as much for me as it is for you. So if, now y'all may notice, there are already some hearts and some thumbs ups going. So new people, if you attended a WWC meeting last week, and if you didn't, don't worry about it. But if you did, there's a little button down there at the bottom that you can push to make a thumbs up. So if you attended a WW, hello Lisa, a WW meet, Zoom meeting last week, and hopefully soon, or for those of you who actually got to attend a real meeting, you got to sit your bottom in a chair. Do you know how long it's been since I've said how many people sat your bottom in a chair? Who sat your bottom in a chair? I want to know. It's like actually type it out if you got to sit your bottom in a little chair because it has been, what, four months since I've said that? For the rest of us, though, if we attended a Zoom meeting, do a thumbs up. And if you attended here with us last week, of course, you all didn't because you're new. But for anybody who attended with us last week um, here live or if you're watching this on replay, Let's see some hearts, or if you did both, some hearts. And Teresa played hooky, but she's been hiking all week, so that's okay. That's perfectly acceptable. That is acceptable. So lots of hearts and thumbs ups. I see lots of hearts and thumbs ups going. Lots and lots and lots of them. And I don't know why Michelle's doing a crying face. Why are you crying, Michelle? But everybody who attended either a, oh, and Alicia checked in with the coach. That's very good. That's actually very good. So you get an extra Bravo sticker for that. So everybody who has attended, um, and Nicole, you are back, you're at the right, this is the right place for you to be. It's actually the correct place for you to be. Like it's perfect. So, okay. So everybody who attended a Zoom meeting last week or, um, or who, uh, was with us, uh, here live or, or, um, yeah, or did both. Here are your Bravo stickers. So congratulations, everyone. And if you're brand new, if you want to go print out some Bravo stickers, they are on ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, super easy to do. So last week, because I'm going to sit here and talk through this whole through the, through the whole 30 minutes. Um, ooh, and Marta says they have three meetings open, three live, three like actual physical meetings open. That is awesome. Last week, though, we sprang into summer just in time for Independence Day. Just in time. So it was independence from the fear of staying home because I know a lot of us have been kind of like, do we go out? Is it safe to go out? And we were, we have freedom from the bondage of toilet paper and hand sanitizer shortages. Um, so places are opening back up here in Knoxville. Hmm, we've opened things back up, but we've taken a step backwards and we all have to wear our masks, which is okay. We're not going to talk about masks right now, but that is okay. But your homework last week though, was to find three things. You were to, you were to hashtag spring into summer and find three things that didn't go as planned. You know, like you had to stop at three because there's so many things that didn't go as planned this spring. But anyway, find three things that didn't go as planned this spring and then how, let us know how you're using them to hashtag spring into summer. So let's see how you did. 
Vicky has decided to live each day to the fullest. You know, why not? Just because we're under this, you know, pandemic cloud, there's no reason not to live each day to the fullest. So she says she's praying, eating healthy, and taking nothing for granted. So she's not leaving any, she's not leaving anything in her track. She is going, 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 going. So good job, Vicky. Mary Ann is springing in with her top three. So since she can't go to her exercise class, she found one on an access channel. So I'm sure we all have channels on our TVs that we don't even realize and we're not even utilizing. I mean, there's YouTube channels and all kinds of things that you can do. Videos, remember DVDs? You know, VHS. Um, but she is, Marianne, is, uh, she found an exercise class on an access channel. Marianne also wasn't getting enough water, so she treated herself to a new thermal and is drinking two of those, two of those full a day. And Marianne, if you were here, how many ounces does that hold? Because I did not see that. And then the toughest one for her is not being able to see her own grandchildren. So she is doing a duo call. I had never heard of duo call. Two of you mentioned it though. So she is doing duo call so that she can talk to them and see them. So I think that is awesome. Then we had Lynn. We had several people do their homework this week. Um, Lynn feels like spring never came to Texas. I get you, honey. I totally understand. So she's going to pretend like it's spring and she is going to stop and smell the flowers more. And she has been posting some of the most beautiful things in our closed group. I mean, in case you haven't seen them, they have been beautiful pictures. A lot of pictures of butterflies, a lot of pictures of flowers. They've been, they have been lovely. Lynn, thank you very much. Um, and like a lot of us, she's feeling isolated. So she's going to make an effort to, instead of just feeling isolated herself, she's going to make an effort to call and check in on friends more often. Okay, so I know that's important for Lynn. And I know that was important to be, you know, important enough to be on her list. But Lynn, thank you very much for checking in on other people. Um, there are a lot of us who do still get to see people. And I think we're taking for granted the fact that there are a bunch of people still stuck at home. Oh, and Marianne's ther uh, thermal, her, it holds 24 ounces. She's drinking two of those a day. That's awesome. Um, but Lynn, thank you for checking on those people because I think it's good for you and it's good for them too. Um, and she said, it seems like some surprises have been jumping into her grocery orders that she's been getting. So this week she only ordered healthy items so that she can stay on track. So for ev those ladies and everyone who did your homework, bravo, more bravo stickers for getting your homework done. Um, don't forget, we're going to talk about this week's homework here in just a few minutes. Oh, and my Christy's been making and sending cards. That's a great idea. That's another good idea. And of course, wait, are you spending as much time? You're not making any fish cards, right, my Christy? Because then you would make like one. You'd only be making and sending like one card. Okay, this week is chat number 180. It's a break up with your sitting routine. So I don't think I've ever asked you to break up with anybody, but I'm asking, I'm asking you to break up with your sitting routine. Um, just listening to Gwen, you know, a couple of times in a row, reading some things, li um, going back over past chats because we have had several chats about this. Um, we, um, sitting is, uh, let's see, Gwen, was it Gwen says, sitting is the new smoking. And she has officially terrified me about this now. She's officially terrified me. And when Christy says no fish, you just have, y'all just have to know what we're talking about. But anyway, okay. So isolation, working from home, gym closures, you know, places that you can't get out and go to. Um, this pandemic has created a problem bigger than just boredom with our new, this is a new, new to me hashtag, hashtag WFH life. So has anybody been doing, has anybody been using the hashtag WFH? And I have to be real careful how I say that. Hashtag WFH life. So has anybody had to use that hashtag? <clears throat> so it is just hashtag work from home life. So, um, I mean, it's really causing a big problem. It is causing a, it's causing a whole new generation of couch potatoes. Um, it has created sedentary lifestyles, um, zoom meeting, you know, sitting still for zoom meetings, um, not getting out, working from home, sitting at your desk, not getting up and talking to your coworkers, coworkers. It's just, you know, it's on and on and on and on and on. And according to our weekly this week, studies show that sitting for long periods of time can increase our risk for cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. What? Just sitting, just being sedentary? And sitting is different than sleeping because when you're sleeping, you're still moving a little bit, you know, like you're turning around, you know, you're shifting sides, um, and your body has put itself, you know, into a sleeping position. So sitting still for long periods of time is bad for you. It's so bad for you. It's actually hard on your heart. It's, you know, and it can cause type 2 diabetes or it can, you know, help, help, you know, help to, um, 
make you more prone than that. Um, and if you sit less, you can reduce the risks of this. The way our environment set up right now has a big influence on that because a lot of us are sitting still at the same desk all day long, all day long. And we don't even have to get up and go talk to our coworkers. We can just Zoom them, you know, or call them, or, you know, we don't have to go out and get, you know, go get anything. We're, we're, we're just there. And then many of our daily routines um, are habitual and we barely even notice that we're doing them. So when we become aware of those habits like that we're sitting, you know, so long, we can, you know, we can start to make new habits. So a couple of the things, um, a couple of the things that we talked about um, in our, in our WW um, Zoom meeting, um, well, first of all, I thought this was really cute. Tracy today during the Zoom meeting, and I thought this could, this could actually be, um, you know, could be helpful for this week. She said that she is doing a checkup from the neck up. And I thought that one was really, really cool. So she, so she's doing a checkup from the neck up. And I think we need to do that because we're going to have to make some new habits in order to, um, to make sure that we don't fall into this, you know, this sitting, the sitting for long periods routine. So some techniques and some ideas that they had, um, you know, on your WW weekly are to set a daily, to set daily stand up reminders in your calendar, or a lot of our fitness devices will tell us, you know, Hey, it's time to get up. It's time to stand. The Fitbit does it. The Fitbit I think is, I think is actually better at it than the Apple Watch. Um, so, you know, but you can set some, you know, some daily, some daily reminders um, to stand up, to get up, you know, and you can set that to go off every hour, you know, or just however often you want to. They said, you know, if you've got another video meeting, if you've already been to one Zoom meeting and you're getting ready to go to a second one, maybe move to a different room. So we're not talking about exercise. So when I'm talking about standing up or moving, I'm not talking about when you go out for a walk, like Karen and I walked today, um, like we, um, and Jennifer said she loves that. She's going to quote on or focus on that quote for the week. So um, I'm not talking about going out. You know, like Karen and I went out for a an exhausting, whoo, hot, 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 hot walk um, this afternoon. So hot, so muggy. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about going to the gym and working out. I'm not talking about jogging, running, squats, any you know any of that. What I'm talking about is just getting up and moving somehow. Um, Casey has started a new thing with um, with Alyssa when she gets upset or like if she's getting wound up because you know she's two. So when she starts to get wound up, Casey's trying to work with her on breathing or like just stopping it. You know, just like you know, stopping that cycle. So Kate, I've been driving Casey crazy this week because we've been talking about this standing up. And so I've been, t and Casey's is hating that she told me this. She's not really, but she's been telling Alyssa, you know, reach to the sky and then down to the ground. And she's been getting her just to stretch, you know, just to stretch and do something different for just a second, just to break up that, you know, when she starts to get upset, cause she's two, she doesn't know you know, I mean, it's okay, and it's okay to be mad sometimes, you know, but she doesn't know, you know, what I, you know, what I should, you know, should be mad over and shouldn't, but I think that one's a good one. I think the reach for the sky down to the ground, I think that could be a good one, you know, for when you need to, to do something, you know, on that, you know, you know, on that every hour when you've been sitting for too long. Um, if you leave an alarm on in another room, you gotta go get it. You gotta go turn it off. Um, one of the things, oh, and we are almost out of time for the first part, but let me show you. WW has a new thing on the app, and it is called, let me find it again real quick. It's called Fit On. So if you haven't found this yet, just go to your WW app, and it's called Fit On, and you just go to the homepage on your app, Fit On, and it has um, everything from five minutes, it has five to 10 minute workouts, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 plus. So you could do a five minute workout. You can do low, medium, or high intensity. And again, we're not talking about a workout. So what we're saying is, so like right here is a five minute productivity booster. So if you go to this one, and I can't play it for you since, you know, this is on the paid app. But if you go to this five minute productivity booster, you're just gonna, all you're doing is boosting your productivity. So your homework for this week is hashtag stand up break up. So it's stand up break up because you're gonna break up with you're gonna break up with sitting and you're gonna stand up. So it's hashtag S T A N D U P B R E A K U P. And I know somebody will post it, but hashtag stand up break up. It will be um, in the notes when Jessica gets them posted. Um, but I want you to tell us one way, just one thing, super easy this week, super easy. 
super easy. Like it's going to take you longer to get to your wherever you're going to post than to actually post it. But hashtag stand up break up. Tell us one way that you're going to stand up to break up with your sitting routine. So again, could be something as simple as up to the sky, down to the ground, you know, it could be that simple. So just tell us one thing and don't forget to tag me. If you were tagging me on Instagram, it's just at if you have an egg and it will attach to me. If you are tagging me on, um, if you're tagging me on um, Connect, it's at Scrap and Stamp 2, S-C-R-A-P-N-S-T-A-M-P and the number two. And thank you, Carol Lou. And if you are, um, if you're tagging me here, and thank you, Lynn, if you're tagging me here on the Facebook page, it's just at if you have an egg and thank you, Alicia. Um, and yes, Barbara, that was the train. Yes, that was the train. Um, and thank you, Sherry. And if you're tagging me in our closed group, it is at Kelly Green Milligan. And at, when I'm saying at, I'm saying the at um, symbol. So there's a symbol on your keyboard, on your phone, whatever, that is an at symbol. So that is how you're going to tag me. So just do hashtag stand up break up. That is your homework for this week. Do not forget to tag me. Um, I need to have so many people do their homework this week that I have trouble writing them all down. So, okay, since you did your homework, bonus, we have an Aldi haul for the second half. So for everyone who is brand new, don't run away. We are gonna, we have got 30 more minutes um, and we are gonna check out some things from Aldi. Um, if you don't have an Aldi near you, still stay with us because some of this you might be able to find in another store. Um, and yes, Barbara, it is time for, for water. Um, and if you have an Aldi and you're just within driving distance, like even when COVID, even before COVID, um, I don't, Aldi is not my weekly grocery store. And yes, Lena, this time for water. Aldi's not my weekly grocery store. Aldi is about an every other month thing for me because they have some things that I, I can't find anywhere else. And plus they're a good deal. And Alan, my son-in-law, Alan, Alyssa, and John all get a gift. Sorry, Casey, you get nothing. You can just eat something from what I'm getting ready to show. Um, but and my son-in-law, Alan, John and Alyssa all have items from Aldi. So John, don't look and see how much I spent at Aldi because Alyssa got stuff she doesn't need. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick break. New people, we always take a quick break in the middle. So if you need to stand up, reach up and down to the ground. Now is time for you to stand and stretch. <sighs> it is time for me to take a breath because I've been talking, talking, talking. It's time for me to take a breath and to drink some water. So give me just a second and we will be right back. And my water today is the Skinny Syrups I did Mermaid, Mango, and Coconut. And it is yummy. It is so yummy. Okay. And we are back. So this is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Today is Sunday, July the 5th. Yesterday was Independence Day. And for the first half of our chat, we were talking about how to break up with your sitting routine. So I am breaking up with my sitting routine by standing up during this entire chat. So I, even though I was leaning for the first 30 minutes, I have been standing up and I stand up every, almost every single week um, while we do this. But we are going to stand up and talk about some things that I got at Aldi. So first things first, this is everything is from Aldi. So everything that I'm going to show you tonight is from Aldi. Um, it is every all of the points values that I'm going to tell you are green. So they are on WW My Way. They are the green smart points. So green is the highest calculation of smart points. So if you are on blue or purple, you will this will your number the number of points will either be this or less. So there will be some things that you might want to look up since some things are less points on blue or purple, but all of these points values are green. And when Jessica prints this out, she will be putting all these points values down as, as green. So Aldi, first time I've been since COVID. Um, so I was curious to see if they were going to let us take in our reusable bags since Aldi doesn't provide bags. You either have to buy bags or grab a box out of the bin or whatever. So they did. The Aldi in Knoxville did let us bring um, in reusable bags. They were still doing the quarters because um, I didn't know how much are we going to get to touch, how much are we not going to get to touch. Um, here in Knoxville, we are on mandatory masks. The Knox County Health Department has put us back on mandatory masks. Actually, we were never mandatory. It was just recommended. But Tennessee, ugh, yeah. 
I knew this was going to happen, but we're kind of sliding backwards on our COVID progress. So we are on mandatory masks. So everyone uh, with the exception of one per I think it was, no, two people, two people. Everyone with the exception of two people that were guests in Aldi um, were wearing their masks. And when you go in immediately, as soon as you got in the door, they had a hand sanitizing station and they had wipes. So I put my quarter in, got my baggie. I had already had my um, reusable bags. I did keep my reusable bags on my shoulder the whole time. I have one big bag that I can put all the rest of my bags in. And, um, and Lynn says her masks now too, yeah. So I have one big bag that I can put all my smaller reusable bags in. So I did keep that on my shoulder because I thought, you know, I'm not trying to be germy crazy. I'm not trying to be crazy about the germs, but I don't know. I just don't want to have to wipe down the outsides of my of my bag. So, and yeah, Trish says, don't forget your quarter if you're going to use a cart, but you do get it back. And she's exactly right. So, um, of course, you don't get back the same quarter that you put in. So you might want to have some hand sanitizer in your car too. But as soon as I put the quarter in, went inside, used the hand sanitizer, um, and got one of the wipes and wiped down the cart. Okay. Then when I got inside, they do have, and Casey, please post the video here. And you know what I'm talking about because I want this to be like Pebble Java. So please post the video here. And it lasts for one minute. Um, from the Aldi haul, but we do have, or just from, you know, before I go into Aldi, they did have um, six, like, circle, like, stickers on the floor, you know, every six feet to show you where to stand. Um, there's never that many people at Aldi. I mean, it's not packed like, it's not packed like Trader Joe's is. Okay, so let's look at what I got, just so that we can, you know, so we don't run out of time and skip any of that. Um, we have, um, we have one of the girls who works here at Casey, at, here at Casey Kitchen Center, um, she has to be careful about bread and things like that. So Aldi does have the kind of bread that she can eat. And so I got some for me too. This is the fit and active bread. It's 35 calories a slice. It's a whole green, whole wheat, whole grain bread. It is one smart point green. Remember I'm doing all green. So it is one smart point green um, for one slice. And it's just two smart points green for two slices. So it's not like a lot of other kinds of bread where as soon as you go to two slices that it's three smart points because you know that WW math. Sometimes the WW math will do you in. But anyway, so the fit and active bread is one point for one slice, two, uh, two points for two slices. So it does not go up to three. <coughs> so I got some of that. I went ahead and got some of the bagel skinnies. Um, our Aldi does not have these all the time. So, um, so the bagel skinnies are three smart points for the whole skinny. And this is like the bagel thins that you can get some other brands, you know, at other grocery stores. But of course at Aldi, they're a little bit cheaper. I will warn you. So I grabbed the bread, then I grabbed the bagel skinnies. Then I thought, oh, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and grab a, um, I will go ahead and grab a thing of their low carb wraps of their low carb tortillas. No. No, no, no. I had completely forgotten that the fit and active low carb tortillas from Aldi are three smart points green. They're three. And you can get Olay Extreme Wellness or the Trader Joe's brand for one smart point. So no, no, no. So no, no tortillas were purchased, you know, during this trip. Then of course I got things like apples. They did have Honeycrisp apples today and they had, and they had jazz apples. Um, I'm a big fan of really, really crisp apples. The reason that I got these, see how small they are? So they're not huge. They're not huge. This is the perfect size for Alyssa and I when we take like tomorrow, we're gonna try and go to the zoo. Um, so that is the perfect size um, for us. Remember to wash them though before you eat them. I also got um, a giant thing of their unsweetened applesauce. The Aldi unsweetened applesauce is my favorite. I get this every single time I go. Every single time I go. And um, it's zero. So it is zero. It is unsweetened applesauce. It's delicious. Um, it's fresh tasting. But every time I go to Aldi, I get a big jug of this. Um, and I'll just eat it. So I love applesauce. Like I love, love, love applesauce. So I will just open this and eat it. I mean, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Okay, but theirs is really, really good. And Trish said, you said, you said that Trader Joe's has a one point tortilla. Trish, okay, we're not supposed to be talking about Trader Joe's, but hold on just a second. Here is, we're not supposed to be talking about Trader Joe's, but here's what's left. The Trader Joe's ones are small. They're small tortillas. 
they're not as big as the Olay Extreme Wellness, but, but yeah, don't get the Aldi ones because they are three small points. Okay, then I got their Clancy's brand of pretzel slims, which I think taste just like pretzel thins. I mean, like they're the same, they're the exact same thing. Much cheaper, much less expensive. You get 23 of these for three smart points, three green smart points. And let me show you what size they are. And we're actually going to try something in a few minutes with these. But you can see they are exactly like the pretzel thin. So probably made by the same people, but a little bit cheaper price. Again, 23, 23 pretzel slims is three, three smart points on green. Um, <laughs> Trish. Then I always grab a couple of these while I'm there. So we don't have these all the time. John likes to eat tuna. He likes to keep tuna packs um, in the truck because he never knows where he's going to be on a job site or whatever to eat. And Aldi is the only place I've ever seen these. So Aldi has the fat-free tuna salad. Um, and it is tuna. And it has, a, it has a spoon with it even. So it's tuna and it has wheat crackers. And it's already made into a little tuna salad. And it is five smart points for this whole little kit. And what you get... What you get in this kit is, and I'm not going to open the packet, but this is the little packet of crackers. This is the already made tuna salad. So it's already made tuna salad. And then here is your wee tiny little spoon. Look how tiny, look how tiny this is. So you get a wee tiny little spoon, the thing of pre-made fat-free tuna salad and a pack of crackers and all of that comes in this little box and that is five smart points and with next week's um next week's ww topic you'll be seeing these again so that little kit is five smart points these are perfect and our aldi doesn't always have these but these are perfect if you like nuts but you have trouble controlling them because these are little tiny packets and they have almonds they have whole almonds and they have almonds and um walnuts and they come in little pre-portioned packages because I know me if I bought if I bought a big thing of nuts and you know we talked about portioning things out a couple of weeks ago if I bought a big thing of nuts and tried to put them into little individual Ziploc bags it would be like you know three nuts for the bag three nuts for Kelly three nuts for the bag three nuts for Kelly so I would end up eating way too many of them but these come already portioned out and they're in these little tiny bags and it's 100 calories for one bag Hello, Loretta. Oh, sorry, Loretta's got to go. Sorry. And it is three points. It's three points on green for one of these little bags um, of nuts. I think it's, it is, I think it is also three if it's the one with the walnuts. Okay, this, I always get a box of these. I only buy one box of these a year because I would eat all of them. And there are 24 in this one. They had these this year and they had the sugar cone ones and they had the waffle cones. But these are, these are the, um, what do they call them? Cups, ice cream cups. And so it's just that regular ice cream holder, you know, like you would put, like you would put ice cream in. These are, oh yeah, and Christy has these in her purse or purse check, or hashtag purse check. Um, but these are the kinds that the normal, you know, like you would just get in an ice cream place. But these are only one, it's only one smart point for this you know for this and of course they're not that big that's not the actual size but it's a pretty good size cake cones okay thank you michelle for a cake cone so it's i mean it's a pretty good size like you can put one maybe two scoops of halo uh, halo top or um enlightened or something like that you know kind of ice cream on there um but these are great so i'm planning on doing with this with um with Alyssa one day but those are one smart point and there's 24 there are 24 cake cones thank you michelle 24 cake cones in there um, then they do have um, the little salad bar. Um, Aldi has all kinds of things from the little salad bar. So they have fresh vegetables. They have um, little guacamole cups. They have um, hummus. They have all kinds of things. So I did go ahead and get a big bag of spinach. They had probably... I don't know, probably five different kinds of little tomatoes. So I'm not a big beefsteak tomato girl. Like I don't like big tomatoes. So I know I live ridiculously close to Granger County and Granger County has apparently the world's best tomatoes, but I just don't like big tomatoes. So anyway, these were, they had like four or five different kinds. These were, um, 
Deuceland. Deuceland gr organic grape tomatoes. And they're little teeny tiny tomatoes. Those I can handle because I can just cut those in half, you know, and mix them in with this, you know, with the salad um, if I want to. This I need some help on. Okay. So we have, these are just jalapenos. We have a restaurant here in town that makes grilled jalapenos to go on their hamburgers. And I absolutely love them, love them, love them. They call them grilled, but they're not like charred grilled. Whatever they're doing to them, it just, they're already cut into slices, but they make them absolutely the brightest green. Like they're almost, they're almost this color of green when they get done with them. Um, I need to know how to do that. So I bought a little bag at Aldi today. If somebody knows, and it's just a little bag of, there are five little jalapenos in here. If somebody knows how to make those grilled jalapenos, call me, call me or, pro, or private message me because I need to know how to do that. It's going to keep me from going back to that restaurant this week. They have white mushrooms and they have portobello mushrooms and they have portobello mushroom caps. Um, again, all, you know, less expensive than a normal grocery store. Um, I always do check their produce. We've got a couple of Aldi's here in town that sometimes their produce is a little new. Um, but I noticed that they did have some kind of a produce guarantee going on today, but I didn't have enough time to look at it. Um, they have Peter Rabbit Farms um, carrots. So Alyssa and I will be enjoying those tomorrow. They have several, several, several different kinds of lunch meat. Um, this one happens to be the oven roasted turkey breast um, and white turkey cured. So since it has something other than just the breast in there, six slices is two smart points on green. But six slices, you can see how big those are. Six slices is going to be a lot. So I could use these on the bagel skinnies. I could use this on um, the... Um, an active bread but so six slices of this is only going to be two two smart points on green this i was super excited about never seen this before i have never seen this before at aldi i haven't i guess i've seen it a couple other places but i've never seen it before at aldi this is fresh peeled garlic so this garlic is already peeled so i've got enough time i'm going to slow down and talk a little bit slower so it's garlic that's already peeled. It's already out of its little skin. You don't have to fight with it, fuss with it, whatever. So it's it's already ready for you. This is gonna get roasted in the air fryer. I had, I've got something that I've been trying to make, but I've been trying to figure out how what to do with the garlic. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, I'm totally just putting that in there. I'm totally just gonna put this in there with this, with that, and put it into the um, put it into the air fryer. But it is the serving size is one clove. So that's my question. Is that a clove? So is that little wedge right there? Is that one clove? Because I guess I always thought like the whole little thing of garlic, I always called that a clove. Is that at like a head of garlic? Somebody who's a garlic expert is going to have to let me know. So is one of these little, what do you call that? Leaves? I don't know. Is that the clove? Okay, so Michelle says yes. Susie says yes. Okay, so that is a clove. And Sandra says yes. So what is the whole thing of garlic? What is the whole thing? And Tracy says it's great in the air fryer. And Alicia says yes. So what's the whole clump of garlic? And Haley says yes. Loretta says yes. What's the whole clump? What is that called? Jana says yes. So y'all are some garlic aficionados. So y'all really need to tell me some other things to make with this. Since I now have... 43 cloves of garlic. Since I have 43 cloves of already peeled garlic, a bulb. Okay, Carol, that makes sense. And Marlene says a bulb. That makes sense. And Christy says it's a head of garlic. I like bulb better, Christy. Sorry. And the little piece is a clove. Awesome. Nicole says, could you measure the serving? It says that a serving is one of those. It says that is one serving. So, okay, well, I like it. Carol says bulb, Rosie says bulb. Okay, yeah, so I like that. Okay, so that is the garlic. Someone, someone here, and MJ says it's a bulb. So someone here asked, someone in our closed group asked what our favorite, and I'm trying to think what you called it, but I knew that you weren't from around here from what it, from the way you said it, um, asked what our favorite brought, asked what our favorite brought was, 
because her favorite, and a lot of y'all knew that it was a bulb. That's interesting because I did not know that. Um, and um, anyway, somebody in our closed group, I, oh yes, and I'm sorry, a clove of garlic is zero. You're correct. My Christy asked if a clove of garlic was zero. Yes, because it is just is just zero. Um, and tr uh, Trish wants to know if it has grams. Hold on, what did I do with it? It says. Four grams. Four grams. It says the serving size is one clove, about four grams, and that there's 43 servings in the container. So that has to be that little thing has to be one. Okay. Anyway, somebody in our closed group teeth. Irma says teeth. What the little tiny things are called teeth? That's interesting. Anyway, somebody in our closed group asked what our favorite brat was because hers apparently is not available anymore. And I had asked if she had Trader Joe's or Aldi. And I am so sorry, I do not remember who that was. But, um, oh, hold on. Barbara says she puts it in her pork tenderloin. She pokes holes in the pork tenderloin, puts the cloves in there, cloves of garlic in there, and then bakes it in the oven. Uh oh, okay, we'll be trying that. And Irma says, yeah, they're called teeth. That is so interesting. They look like teeth, so that makes complete sense. But anyway, so somebody in our closed group was asking about their about favorite brats because the kind that she liked were not available. I asked if she had a Trader Joe's or an Aldi near her. Trader Joe's and Aldi both have a lot of different versions of turkey or chicken sausages, all of which have been delicious. I have, um, I don't think I've had any that I didn't like. So this one is turkey cheddar, and John will be happy to know that I am bringing these home, not for tonight because he is making air fryer nachos, but he will be happy to know that I am bringing these home. These are smoked turkey sausage with cheddar cheese, and one of these, and these are pretty fat. I don't mean fat like, like fatty, I mean fat like they're pretty big. But one of these is three smart points, and I've had these before, and they are delicious. They are absolutely delicious. Um, so one of these is three smart points. They also had a pesto chicken one. They had, and these are Kirkwood. So since they're from Aldi, they're Kirkwood brand. So almost any meat from Aldi that is their brand is called, is a Kirkwood. Um, yeah, okay, Shantae said the turkey jalapeno ones from Aldi are good too. I had those in my hand, Shantae. I had them in my hand and I thought, oh, I got jalapeno flavored something else. I'll get these. Dang it. Okay. So, there is that. Let me switch to this real quick because I just realized I skipped a couple of things over here. Um, these, Alyssa loves turkey sausages. Um, she loves these, and Pam wants to know how you fix them. So, the, all of these, like these sausage things, all of these, I cook them in the air fryer. I cook all of that kind of stuff in the air fryer. Um, but anyway, Alyssa loves these. These are just snack sticks. So, these are turkey snack sticks, and they are one turkey snack stick. And they're pretty big. One turkey snack stick. Um, these are Sims brand. Uh, Kathy wants to know if that was the brand of the lunch meat too. The lunch meat is called Lunch Mate. It is Lunch Mate brand. But anyway, so it is one smart point for each one of these turkey sticks. I also have, those are for Alyssa. I also have in here somewhere turkey pepperonis. And Aldi has the best turkey pepperonis that I've ever had ever 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 had um don't know what's different about them they are mama cozy's brand and for 16 you can have 16 mama cozy's um turkey pepperonis for two smart points on green absolutely the best turkey pepperonis i've ever had ever then i had not seen these in a long 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 time these are the fuchsia um crunchy rice rolls and I got these to see what Alyssa thought of them so I have not had these in forever I used to eat these all the time they are three smart points for one of the rice rolls they're pretty long they're pretty long it's not don't be fooled it is not a rice crispy treat so the very first times that I first time that I bought these I was thinking that's gonna be like a rice crispy treat it's not a rice crispy treat but I think she I still think she's gonna like it though okay and Nicole you just read my mind so Nicole just said their Appleton Farms bacon, let's see, Nicole said their Appleton Farms bacon is the best and you get two or three slices for two points. Nicole, guess what? Their Appleton Farms bacon, the center cut bacon, is uh, three slices for two smart points on green. 
So Nicole, you read my mind. That was the next thing that I was that I was pulling out. That was the next thing I was pulling out. And Kathy, the rice rolls are it's not like a rice cake. I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. Okay, real quick because I got to because we got to try two things and we have 5 minutes left. Um they had today they had laughing cow cheese um a lot of times they have their brand and it's happy farms their happy farms cheese is really good so i went ahead and got some laughing cow and um, because i'm thinking for breakfast in the morning this week that i might do <laughs> nicole yeah that i might do the bagel skinnies with some laughing cow cheese because a bagel skinny is three the laughing cow cheese is one i'm sorry for one it is two on green so for one wedge, you know, like a triangle wedge, it is two. Okay, but I have to show you these last two things so that we can try them before we go away. So nobody go away or you're going to miss this. I've never seen these. Okay, this is the first time I've seen these at Aldi. Maybe it's because I haven't been there in a, several, several months. It's been like six months now. Maybe it's because I haven't been there in six months. Maybe it's because they're brand new. But they had cauliflower dip. So I was looking at the hummus because I do love hummus. And I spotted this and I thought, oh no, I'm trying this. So they have cauliflower dip now. It is roasted chili and pepper jack cauliflower in a dip. Two tablespoons is two smart points on green. We are going to try this in just a second. And brownie batter dessert hummus. Uh, yes, please. So the brownie batter dessert hummus is made with love. It is gluten-free. It's vegan. And it is made by Perk Street Deli. So, real quick before it's time to go, we're going to break into this. And I did not cheat and try this first. So, this is going to be an honest-to-goodness, um, you know, reaction. So, I'm using one of the pretzel slims. And this one is, let's see, this is roasted chili and pepper jack cauliflower dip. And it says, great served hot or cold. And the way this smells... Uh oh, I broke my pretzel. The way this smells, I think this would maybe be good as like the salad dressing on the, um, like on my sandwich. So let's go ahead and try this. Mmm. That is super good. You can't even tell it has cauliflower in it. That is so good. Roasted chili, roasted chili and pepper jack cauliflower dip. Two tablespoons is two smart points on green. Oh my gosh, that's good. I have a feeling that's going either going on my sandwiches or I'm just going to eat it with carrots. That was really good. Okay, let me get the spicy taste out of my mouth. And Dusty has just wandered in to tell us that it is like two till nine or three till nine. Okay, so this is the brownie batter dessert hummus. Two tablespoons is four on green. Yeah, and Christy said portion control is the problem with both. So Christy, I will probably be leaving both of these at work because it's hard enough to find time to eat at work. Okay, this is a, I just have to say that consistency that is brownie batter consistency. So that is not hummus consistency. Look at that, how it's, I don't know why I'm fascinated by this. It's like thick, it's more like icing actually. Look at, it's sticking onto the pretzel. Okay, let's see. Mmm. I like that with a little bit of salty. And yes, Trisha, it was a little bit spicy. Mmm. That's good. It's like... It almost tastes like thick, creamy chocolate pudding. I don't know how to explain it. It's like thick, creamy... It's thick. It's like thick, creamy chocolate pudding. Um... And Tracy says they said that's great when you freeze the hummus. Oh, and Michelle says on apples. Oh, that would be good on apples. That would be good on apples. Okay. So, I can see that those would be a problem if I just had them sitting out and ready to eat. But, anyway, that is our Aldi haul. So, thank you very much for being here tonight. Um, I got to, uh oh, Dusty's going to get ready and get going. Hey, Dusty, come here. Come here and tell everybody hello. Come here. So, he's telling me that it's time to wrap it up. Okay. And 
for those of you that are new, if you didn't know who Dusty was, this is Dusty. So he is the he is the uh, watchdog for the time too. So he's the watchdog for me, and he's the watchdog for the time. So he is letting us know that it is nine o'clock, and it is time to wrap up. So thank you everyone for being here tonight. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later, if you're watching this on demand on YouTube, or if you're watching this with us here um, tonight and you need to go back and see any of this, you can watch it on YouTube. And thank you, Barbara. That's not that far to drive home. Um, watch it on YouTube. If you, have an egg doc, if you have an egg on YouTube, and go ahead and watch the next video up here. Right here, if you press this button, you can subscribe. Don't forget to um, hit the little bell so that you'll be notified every time um, a new video comes on. And we also still have the smart shirts going on over here. So everybody have um, a great evening. Um, yeah, this was definitely worth the trip to Aldi. Um, take your quarter. Don't forget your quarter. You're going to want to use a buggy. Don't forget your reusable bags. You can take those in with you. I mean, it's a lot easier to get out. Um, but everybody have a great week. Do your homework, and I will see you next week. Good night, everybody.